When we look at the slope of a line, we define it, usually with the variable m, to be the change in the vertical distance, so the change in y, to the change in x. We can write the slope formula with that, and when we say the difference in y, it could be y2 minus y1, because that's the difference in the coordinates, over x2 minus x1. So let's look at that first. So I have my two points here. I'm going to label them x1, y1, x2, y2. And to find that slope, we'll write it again, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We're going to substitute in our values. We get 7 minus 3 for y2 minus y1 and we get 7 minus 1 for x2 minus x1. This gives us 4 over 6, which becomes 2 thirds. So our slope of that line is 2 thirds. If we go back to the definition of slope, that means for every 2 units up, we go 3 units to the right, or that's our change in x. Now let's take a, another approach at that. Let's look at if this was actually a triangle formed between our two points. Our change in the horizontal direction, or our change in x, would be 6 units we moved to the right, and then our vertical change would be 4 units we moved up. So ignoring the formula and just saying, well, slope is the change in y over the change in x, with y being the vertical and x being the horizontal, we could actually take those values and write the slope as 4 over 6 because it's the change in y over the change in x and we didn't even have to substitute in. We were just able to count the change and it comes out to be the same thing. It's still 2 thirds. Let's look at another one. Here's our points now and let's first just look at the change and then we'll confirm it with the slope formula. So if I make a triangle here and I look at my, we'll do horizontal change first. I move to the right 3, and then my vertical change, I moved down 3. So as I went from a 5 down to a 2, so I went down 3. So my slope, if I say change in y over change in x, is negative 3 over 3, which is negative 1 which says for every one we go to the right, we go one down, which the line follows. Now we can go back to our slope formula and check to see if it matches. Let's do our negative one, five as x1, y1, and two, two as x2, y2, and we can write it as two minus 5 over 2 minus negative 1. Now we simplify here. We have 2 minus 5 is negative 3. If I do 2 minus a negative 1, that's as saying 2 plus 1. So that would be positive 3, and we get the slope is still negative 1.